<laughs> because I can sit and give, give, give all day long, right? And I, I can do that, but I also have a business to run. So, you know, a lot of people say, hey, can I take you to lunch? Can I take you to coffee? It's like, well, yeah, I mean, potentially, but if I did that with everyone, I would never be in the office and I'd eat 50 times a day. Um, so when people come forward and say, hey, how can I add some value to you? That, that little thing to a lot of people out there uh, in any industry, just, just that one thing of saying, hey, I, I do need something, but I'm not asking for that without me trying to give you something in return, without me trying to offer you something. And it, it may not be that we need anything in return, but it's, it's the offer of it. And that is so important when you look at that stuff. I mean, I'm not taking anything from you. Hopefully I add value to you. But the fact that you offer that, that's fantastic. And I respect that. Um, so my contracts, yes. If we haven't given those to you yet, you're going to get them. I gave him a code yesterday. Um, so he's got them to get to you. Um, first, I, I want to ask you about something that you said there. So you said you bought a course. What'd you buy? Yeah, so I... Great question. Uh, first thing I, I hopped into, uh, I knew I needed. To, I, I went down to YouTube University. I knew I needed to get into uh, some kind of coaching program to cap that learning curve. Mm -hmm. I signed up for Wholesale Inc. I actually put that on a credit card. All right. Uh, but obviously, it, I learned uh, you know tenfold, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, I actually went to another course. I went to is I went to Real Estate Disruptors with C Train, mm -hmm. an amazing uh, company, and him and his partner Max. Yeah. Love them to death. So went out there to Phoenix not too long ago. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I've done John Martinez. Mm -hmm. uh, so learned some sales skills. And now you guys have your sales sales process as well. Yeah. I'd love to hear more about that too. And you know what's cool? So like you look at, so all those guys are good guys. Tom Kroll, he's got a great program going there. Uh, Steve Trang, I'm in a mastermind with him. John Martinez as well. Um, so those guys I, I see very often. I'm seeing Steve next month in Phoenix. Um so Steve's got his sales training, right? And John's got his sales training. And I've got my sales training. And you start looking at it and you say, oh my gosh, this is, this is a lot. But when you really look at it, so John Martinez is one of the first sales trainings I took. And I respect the hell out of that guy. And he, if, if anyone says real estate wholesaling, who is the sales training trainer? Who is, who is the number one? John Martinez is always that one that comes out of everyone's mouth, which is, well deserved. That guy deserves that recognition for what he's done. Um, but lately, you've seen other people start to come out with things, right? Steve's got his, and we've got ours. But it's all different approaches. And the way I always say is, take as many as you can take. And then from that point, you're never going to follow exactly John Martinez. You're never going to follow exactly Steve. You're never going to follow exactly what we do. But you're going to find those bits and pieces from each one of them. And then you're going to develop how you want to sell based on that. Because if you took exactly what I do, it's not going to work for you. There's no way it's going to work for you because it's fake when it comes out to a seller, right? You've got to learn it yourself and you've got to kind of almost become your own salesman based on the things you're learning and even stuff you took from Wholesaling Inc. as well. I always recommend getting training from multiple sources because you're learning so many different ways of doing things. Um, but you've also done a lot of stuff, right? So hold off on more and more subscription stuff and start making a ton of money on it, right? Because now you know the base of it. And honestly, I'd say the next step for you after you start making a bunch of money on this is a mastermind. I mean, when you look at um, what really took me and made me go fivefold, tenfold in business, that was when I joined a mastermind. And I still am in part of two today. I'm in part of one that's Collective Genius, and then one that I run myself just with uh, Steve Drang and some of the other guys. But, you know, we get together once a quarter and just talk about what's working, what's not working. And I've got to say, being in a mastermind has probably saved me millions of dollars in losses from stupid stuff that I thought was would have been smart to do. But I realized they've already done it. And it didn't work. Right. Um, or they've done it and they made an adjustment, which in turn I implemented and made me millions. So masterminds are really the next step, but there's a lot of them out there. Um, there, there really is. And, um, I know that, uh, flip talks got a pretty cool mastermind set up as well. Um, that's Don Costa. So there's some cool ones out there. Sean Terry's got one and he was my mentor. Uh, there, there's some really cool masterminds out there, but you know, until you're ready, don't go start because those will probably cost you, 
you know, 15, 20 grand. Um, don't go and pull all your money out of your savings account and then go and sign up for masterminds. They don't have any money to run your business.